G'day Knuckleheads, I'm called Nakus here. In this video, I want to show you how to easily install a basic door handle. Let's do it. Now to get this show on the road, we just need a few basic tools. We'll need a tape measure, a square, a Stanley knife or a utility knife, a chisel, pencil, a 54 millimeter hole saw, for my 54mm door handle set, we'll need a 1 inch spade bit or speed bore, a Phillips head driver, a 764th or 2.78mm drill for drilling our pilot holes for our screws, and a drill of some description. And that's it. So for my extra tall doors, I'm going up a metre and sixty from the floor to the centre of my handle and you put a mark on the door. And off that mark, get your set square and rule a line across. I'm going across 60 millimetres because my door handle will have a 60 millimetre back set. Normally door handles come either with a 60 or a 70, they can be either or, but on most standard doors you'll go back 60 millimetres. So run your line across and mark where 60 millimetres is, which is right there. So X marks the spot, that is the centre of our door handle. Now get that line that you've just put on the door. Hopefully you can see that. I'll just make it a bit darker. There we go, like that. So there's our line. Now we run that line around the face of the door as well. And just mark that across. And next we want to find the centre of this door here. These doors are 34 millimetres wide, so the centre will be 17 millimetres. So we'll mark 17, which is 10, 15, 16, 17, which is right there. So there's the centre of our door. And to help pinpoint my drill, I get a nail and just give that a little tap. That way the drill will start off in the right spot. As well as punching a hole in the centre of this door face here, I'm also going to do the same where that 60mm cross is right there. The reason for that is that it just helps locate the hole saw. And speaking of hole saws, here it is here, ready to go. Now these just fit into the end of your drill, tighten that up, and you're ready to go. Now when I do it, the door's always closed against that door stop, that way you can apply some pressure. And away we go. Now I don't like to drill all the way through first. If we come around here, you'll see that the drill, this pilot hole bit, has come through the other side. I will tack the door from this face, right now. That way, when I come back again from the other side and the drill comes through, it's not going to puncture out and splinter any of that veneer. So back around the front. Sometimes you might need to clean out the hole saw. It gets a bit clogged up sometimes. And then back into it. With the hole for the handle now cut out, it's time to drill the hole for the latch. And to do that, we use our 25mm or 1 inch speed bore or spade bit and drill into that face until we break into 
this cavity here. Now some guys, they'll drill that hole first and the handle second. And the reason for that is that by drilling that hole first and this second, the heat from this is expelled out that hole, which sometimes can be a good thing, especially if your drill bit is a bit blunt, like mine was. Anyway, let's not muck around and drill this hole. Now, before you start drilling your hole for your latch, it's a good idea to secure the door. And I'm just using some chisels, a couple of chisels, like that, and that'll stop the door from moving around. Now, it's really important when you're drilling this hole to keep your drill nice and straight because you don't want to break through the side of that door. So just gradually go in And there you have it, all ready to install the latch and the handle. The next thing you need to do is get your latch, place it in the hole, and then mark around it with a sharp pencil. So just get it nice and centered, and then mark around the edge. Now all you need to do is to chisel out that area where the latch is and generally with something like this you normally chisel in about three millimeters so let's do that and normally before I start chiseling to get those edges nice and sharp I like to use a utility knife if you chisel those edges it tends to round the corners over a little bit but this leaves a nice sharp edge. So I use my square as a guide. And then mark in just carefully. You don't want to cut yourself or overshoot the mark. So just there, down the bottom. Just carefully. And now for the sides. This one over here. You can do this by freehand if you like. And now with those edges scribed, I can now chisel out the center. And just test it from time to time to make sure you're on the right track. That's looking pretty good. Just a bit deeper. I think we can now try the latch. And that fits beautifully. Now all we need to do is drill a pilot hole in each of those spots and insert the screws. Okay, I'll put the latch in place and then get my drill bit, my pilot hole drill bit. And using my thumb, I'll guide that into the center of the hole and just slowly in you go. Beautiful. And now I'll just insert the screws. Beautiful. You want the latch to be flush with the door face and that is spot on. Now all you need to do is to assemble the handle. With that step now done and dusted, it's time for the final step of actually installing that door handle. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below. So make sure you check that one out. Alrighty, as per usual, big thumbs up, greatly appreciated, and please hit that subscribe button for more handy tips. Till then, I'm out of here. Cheers.